All right, we have finally made it to the sea restaurant in Asagao. This place is definitely one of the most popular restaurants that I've been hearing about. So I thought, why not come explore it out? And I have Ankita with me, Hello. who's coming here for the first time. Yes. So we are really excited. Let's see how it goes. Who you wanna be for a minute? Don't get over your head, you're like everyone else I hear. You could gain from Place wow. to sit out here in the balcony. Beautiful. Yes. I love I love the whole Goan architecture to it. It's Portuguese house, yeah. restore, trying to restore it up. as much as we can, trying to restore, you know, not trying to break down and build again, but restore as much as possible. Okay, and during the season time we also use the seating outside, which is more preferred during the season time, of course, in the rains, right. this balcony area is preferred. But otherwise it's more in the lawns and we also do have live music on weekends. Mm -hmm. Every Thursday, every Saturday we do oh, have wow. live music as well. And so uh, how, how did the name uh, C come into... Oh yeah, this is a very interesting question actually because uh, uh, most people, you know, when they hear the word C, they think it is by the sea, which okay. is not exactly the case. Mm. And C stands for Southeast Asian Cuisine, okay. Okay, which we are popular about, mm. which, uh, which, which covers uh, right from your uh, Thai, Indonesian, Burmese as well as South Indian cuisine. Oh, so that's how we try and cover the entire belt and that's how we came up with the word C. Must try out here is the ghee roast mutton, the Malaba chicken suka for starters, not forgetting our salads. We have uh, tangy raw papaya salad, watermelon feta salad and, uh, <laughs> and for your mains don't forget to, uh, at least you should, this is one must try the steamed fish out here which is served in a lemon coriander sauce which is a red snapper served whole. And of course, it's steamed for around 15-20 minutes minimum, and then served in that lemon coriander sauce. So it's just one of perfect, one of the best dishes out here. As they say in Goa, Viva Goa. Enjoy your drink. For the starters, we had the Kerala prawn taran and the ghee roast mutton with appam. And for the mains, we tried the chicken kausau and the malai chicken kurma. 
and I must say the food is simply delicious. All right, guys, we have some nice tender mutton and appam. <laughs> Yummy. Just loving it. I love your presentation. This is the cow soy that we have. Chicken cow soy. So we do it in both veg and chicken options. While the food at sea is simply amazing, you cannot miss the dessert over here for which we tried the pineapple delight and the baked yogurt. The sea restaurant located in Asagao is a beautifully renovated 18th century Portuguese house. Sea is inspired by the travels of its founder Sauravanand and his culinary journey over the years in Southeast Asia. It's a wrap to another vlog. The sea restaurant in Asagao is definitely a place you have to visit. The food is just outstanding, the ambience, uh, what they have done to this place in terms of a Portuguese house and the interiors is something which is mind-boggling and what I liked about the thing is the service, you know, the service was very prompt and uh, the food was really delicious. I mean I would definitely recommend this place if you want to take out your family or your friends for a nice quiet dinner. Uh, it's definitely a place you can enjoy those special occasions for and a definite thumbs up from all of us over here. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. If you do like our vlogs, do like, share, subscribe and comment on our YouTube channel, The Goan Explorers. All right, Angita, you know what we have to do at the yes. end of the vlog, right? Yes. Let's do it. Viva, Viva Goa! Goa.